The national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Uche Secundos, has charged regional and state executives of the party to take charge of their respective domains and settle, the all, and settle all conflicts within their areas. The chairman would describe former Ketika Committee chairman of the party, Senator Ahmed McAfee, as a hero of the party, assured the former national leader of the party that he and his team will hit the ground running. A correspondent or society on Sadebawe completes the story. It is a ceremonial handover of office at the Wadata House of the People's Democratic Party. Part of the process of handover is a switching of seat by the former chairman and the substantive chairman. Thank you very much. Addressing party members at the National Executive Committee Hall of the party at the Wadata House, Secundus reiterates that the former National Ketika Committee Chairman has distinguished himself through the conduct of a peaceful convention. This commendation ends the former Chairman of the People's Democratic Party National Ketika Committee a standing ovation. For the new chairman of the party, the task before the new exco is just one assignment. We are now ready to take this party, put it together, and make sure that we are ready for election 2019. To achieve this assignment, he and his team will hit the ground running to woo all members of the party back home to swell their numbers which is needed for an election. McCarthy agrees with him on this, stating that the party must continue to sustain discussions with aggrieved members as it charges towards 2019 general elections. And we want to warn our leaders, warn ourselves, the leaders of this party, that with this takeover today, Let's not misuse the word of impunity. It has come, it has gone. There will be no longer impunity. We must continue to reconcile the agreed. Right or wrong, reconciliation should be a permanent principle, has been a permanent <coughs> principle of the PDP, and it should be pursued to the letter. Osaiti Osadibame, Core TV News, Abuja.